Hi and welcome back to my channel. What you see in front of you is one of several huge, well, one of several diamond paintings that I've received in the last week. Uh, two of them are big and four or five of those are, uh, three or four of those are small, snack size. But we're going to start with this one and I know that I'm just off camera while I take it out of the box. Uh, I will probably have to stand up and readjust my camera a bit. Um, I'm on my card table. I have folded up my with my drills, my diamond painting, and an empty box. Okay. I have folded up my puzzle sto storage because I haven't started my next puzzle yet. So that allows me to work on this clean slate of a desk. So let's dump everything out. Okay, the way I dump, okay, first of all, as a Dreamer Designs diamond painting, they always come in a bag with their logo and their name. So that's the, the beautiful drawstring bag, which we'll put to the side. This couple things fell out. Then you also get Okay, I told you we're going to have to adjust the camera. Sorry about that. You also get this little soft bag that has some of the two, that has a tube kit. These two fell out when I was dumping everything out. In the tube kit, you have two bolts. You have two squishy things for your finger comfort. You have two things of wax. You have a straightener and two multi-placers and as i mentioned these fell out earlier your standard diamond painting pen and your sharp tweezers and last but not least your baggies i need to uh, go through my kits and move my baggies to another location because i have another storage idea in mind for long-term storage of the drills that uh i'm the, the leftover drills between painting. So these are the drills. So we'll put that to the side for a minute. And we will unroll this. Now my camera's in a not the best spot for me. That's not working. Why can't I? Why can't I roll this up? I really want you to see it. It's gorgeous, that's for sure. Just bear with me. And you'll see why I'm struggling with this. They're protected with this foam as it's rolled up in shipment. This is your stickers with your manifests or your your schematic, your numbers, your signs, your DMC, and these are your instructions. So I think I gave this enough of, I fiddled with this enough that I can lay it as flat as possible, and now we can turn it over. I still would like to uh, get this side a little flatter. There we go. That's the whole diamond painting. Now let's look at the instructions before I stand up and raise the camera. This paper comes with every Dreamer Designs diamond painting. On one side it has the instructions if you're new to the hobby and on the other side is information about the store, their Facebook group, their Instagram page, and any exclusive access or codes that they may have available at the time of shipment. So now I'm going to stand up so that we can try to get a look at this whole canvas. Now, we have had rain and overcast weather here in Massachusetts for several days. And today it's very, very sunny. So you have a lot of glare coming because this table that I'm on, I'm slowly moving the camera on, on purpose so that you can see it. We have a lot of glare coming because this table that I'm working with has two windows, one to the right and one in front of it. And that's where we get the most glare right here. So hopefully you've been able to see this. It's a farmhouse with fall leaves. You have some gorgeous deer. You have the waterfall. 
you have, I think, a gazebo right here. And then the ground is here with a, like a small brook. That's the diamond painting. It's going to be very, very enjoyable. I was going to say massive, but I'm looking at the measurements up here. Camera adjustment. It's an 80 by 60, which is 31.5 inches by 23.6 inches. This is the rendered image. And it's called The Colors of Life. So we'll leave that there and I will sit back down and let's take a look at our drills. Uh, I just want to let you know that before I started to get this video together, I played a lot with this camera. And I knew that with a large diamond pin like this, there was no ideal position for the camera. I have different things, like I have a tripod, I have the boom on, I have another method, but I settled on this one and hopefully it was good enough for you to see the beauty in this picture, colors, The Colors of Life by Dreamer Designs. I just want to open both bags at the same time, just be done with this crinkliness once and for all. Now, something that I do with every diamond painting is I take, let me get one, do I have them handy? Once I open up my diamond paintings, I put the, oh, why are we so dark? Oh, no. For a second, I thought that camera was dark, but I realized that my laptop screen went back. That kind of scared me for a minute. I put my drills and any accessories in this these bags, and then I label them with my labeler. And that's what I will do with these drills once I am done. And then the diamond painting itself gets rolled back up as tightly as possible, and it gets put to the side over on a shelf that's on the other side of the room. And then I have a bin that will have all of these. So here's what I do. Let's just get it done really quickly. It'll only take a second. Hopefully you can see me. So it's the Dreamers Designs and it's the Colors of Life. Actually, let's type Dreamer Designs. I was just going to put DD. Then I print that label. And then I'll put the colors of life. And I have a place that I'm keeping these. And then when I'm ready to kit them up, I just go grab it and I go for it. The colors of life. Okay. Print that bad boy. Okay. So, all of my canvases thus far are separated from my drills for kitting purposes. And as I mentioned, they, the bag goes this way. This is the Colors of Life, and it's a Dreamer's Designs. And this will help me down the road because I have so many diamond paintings. And it also helps me because I find that it's really difficult for me to put the drills back in the bag that they came in and roll the diamond painting and put this back in the drawstring bag exactly correctly so I make these bags now let's get on to the drill now I find that when I do my drill counts I like to at least get them in as close to order as possible so that when I start calling out the numbers I'm working with some sort of 
feed. So that's what I'm doing now, laying these babies out. And that way, when I start calling out the numbers, we're going to find it a time saver. And there we go. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have two bags of five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful fall colors. Now, I'm going to tell you something. We are in the month of November. It is currently November 18th, I believe. I'm um, looking at my calendar. Yeah, today's the 18th. This, this diamond painting may be put aside until next fall. Just letting you know. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and there's two bags of 18. Put that to the side. I've got a couple of cabooses, as I heard somebody call them. 18 again. We just saw 18. 19, 20, 20, I'm sorry. If I could count, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 is three bags, okay? And then we have 25 and 26. And we have 27, 28. Again, two bags of that color. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, two bags of that color. This is going to be a very enjoyable diamond painting. And I'm going over in my mind, am I going to wait till next fall? Or am I just going to work on it slowly? We'll see. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40 again. I don't know why they gave us two bags, the bags are half full. But we have 40 twice, 41 and 42. And if I didn't tell you already, there's 52 colors in this diamond painting. I don't think I've mentioned that. 43, 44. 45, two bags of 45, as you can see, 46, 47, 48, 49, and two bags of 50. Now, why are we at the end when it said that there's 50 colors? That is because we have this caboose, and let's take a look at them. Okay, I see 34, so I don't know why this was separated. So 34 is uh, 938, so I guess we had 34 in here somewhere. Oh, okay, so here it goes right there, 33, 34. And then we have 51, and we have 1AB, which is AB 37. And the diamond painting that I'm working on right now has this AB 37. So I'm getting a little bit more familiar with some of the numbers. and. Let's uh, put this bad boy in this bag. I don't know if anybody else stores their drills like this, but it works for me to have my boxes in one location and my drills separate. Like I said, for the life of me, they don't go back in the packaging the way that I got them so I will put my sticker sheet in there as I've done all the other ones I also put my accessory toolkit in here and for the heck of it we'll put the instructions in there as well and I have a storage area that I'm keeping all of these bags so that gets to the side for a minute. And you guys get one more glance at this gorgeous painting. And when you watch this, leave me a note in the comments, if you will. Should I start this even though it will be winter before we know it? That's my question. Let me know what you think. And uh, should I do one other thing, though? One other thing? Let's look at the drill field. 
because I've heard that some of the Dreamer Designs codes are hard to read. And with my light, without my light pad at this very moment, I'm not having any problems with the light pad. It's going to be even easier. Now, I will be taking this plastic off and setting this up with parchment paper, but that process won't be done until I'm close to working on it. For storage purposes, I'll keep the plastic that it came with. So that's it. You don't get the whole picture because I have to stand up again, but you get most of it. I want to thank you for your time. I have several of these videos to make. Not sure what order they're going to go up in, but there you go. Dreamer Designs, The Colors of Life, 52 colors, including one AB. That's it, everybody. Bye for now.